Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To learn how to use the Photoshop Elements Organizer window, you must first learn the names and locations of the tools available within it. At the top of the Organizer window in Photoshop Elements is the menu bar. If using a Windows computer, then to the right of the menu bar are the Minimize, Maximize or Restore, and Close buttons. You can click these buttons to control the size of the Organizer's application window. The menu bar contains commands grouped by category for performing tasks in the Organizer window. For example, the File command contains all the necessary commands for file management. You can click a command in the menu bar to show a drop-down menu that lists the available subcommands for that menu. Then click the subcommand to perform. Some subcommands are followed by a right pointing arrow, which means you must select a choice from a side menu that appears when you hover over that subcommand in the drop down menu. Alternatively, some subcommands are followed by an ellipsis mark, which means if you click one of these commands, you will open a dialog box into which you must input additional information or select choices to finish. For example, selecting File Print from the menu bar opens the print dialog box where you must select printing options. If needed, to cancel or close an opened dialog box without making a choice, click the X or close button or the cancel button or press the escape key on your keyboard. One advantage of using the menu bar when learning Photoshop elements is that the menu bar helps you find and learn keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts appear to the right of their corresponding subcommands in the menu bar's drop down menus. One way to become faster at using Photoshop elements is to memorize the keyboard shortcuts for the menu bar commands you frequently use. For example, to undo your last action when using the organizer, hold down the Control key or Command key for Max on your keyboard. Then press the Z key on your keyboard then release all the keys. If you click Edit in the menu bar, and then look at its menu of subcommands, you can see the keyboard shortcut Control plus Z appear to the right of the Undo Action command in the drop-down menu. Below the menu bar in the Organizer window is the Shortcuts bar. The buttons in the center of the Shortcuts bar let you filter the files that appear in the Organizer window and search for media. The filtering buttons in the shortcuts bar are Media, People, Places, and Events. The Search button to the right of those buttons lets you find media, which is discussed in a separate lesson. The Media button is the default filtering choice and shows all media in your current library. To activate a filter and view the files associated with that filter, click the Desired Filtering button in the shortcuts bar. At the left end of the shortcuts bar is the Import drop-down button. You can click this button to select how to import photos and videos into the organizer. At the right end of the shortcuts bar are the Create and Share drop-down command buttons. These buttons let you create and share images within the organizer window. You will also learn how to use these tools in later lessons. Below the shortcuts bar is the organizer window. When the media choice is selected in the shortcuts bar, this window shows thumbnails of the media files imported into the current catalog in the organizer. The thumbnails appear without spaces between them in an adaptive grid layout, which lets you see more media files without disrupting their aspect ratios. File details, like the file names and tags, do not appear in this view. To switch the view between the Adaptive Grid view and a Details view that shows the rating and date of each media file when viewing the media in the organizer, select View, Details from the menu bar. Doing this toggles the view between the two views. To then toggle the file names on or off when using the Details view, select View, File Names from the menu bar. 
to then toggle grid lines between the media files on or off when using the details view. Select view, grid lines from the menu bar. Also, note the organizer window's content changes depending on which shortcut button in the shortcuts bar is currently selected. The taskbar appears at the bottom of the organizer window. The taskbar contains the show height panel, undo and redo button, rotate left or right button, add location, add event, instant fix, Editor, Slideshow, Home Screen, Upload to Cloud, Import Cloud Media, Open Elements Web Beta Feature button if using Elements 2023, Zoom, and Keyword Info buttons. These buttons help organize media files, undo and redo changes, launch slideshows, zoom media, and apply instant fixes and tags to media. If you select an image in the organizer and then click the Instant Fix button in the taskbar, the photo opens in an Instant Fix window. This window lets you apply quick fixes like crop and red eye to the currently selected image. Click the Fix to Apply in the toolbar at the right side of the Instant Fix window. Then click the Save button in the lower right corner to save your fix, and then click the Done button. Alternatively, to return to the organizer without making any changes, click the Back button in the upper left corner of this window. To show or hide the tags and information panes which let you organize media at the right side of the window, Click the Keyword Info button at the right end of the taskbar. At the left side of the window is the Albums and Folders panel, which shows folders for imported files and also albums you create. This panel lets you easily navigate to different files stored in albums in the organizer and folders containing media on your computer. To switch between viewing albums or folders, Click the Albums or Folders buttons at the top of this panel. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.